So one night, we go to Valueville. There were trucks and cars. And Ryan is the driving force behind this one because he got really excited about the idea of bashing together a bunch of bits on these vehicles. And that's really where it started and ended. We go to Value Village, we get these vehicles, we're going around the store, and they're what was originally a fun thing to do turned out to be stressful for some reason. For Dana banging on a drum, making all this noise. Kids are going this way and that way. Oh, can I get a drum? Can I get this one? Can I get more? Can I get everything? And then we go to the bunker, we get bits, and we're going through all the old stuff that we have, and we're collecting more. Why is there stress associated with this? So it wasn't until we started to sing Mr. Blue Sky that that stress disappeared. It was awesome. It was a free flow of fun once again, and it recalibrated our minds. So we go back home, and this is where we start to free flow. We start to clip off all these bits from different ranges, from the damned, from Warhammer 40K. There's old buildings of Imperial Guard, whatever it happens to be, maybe parts of the Sentinel. I don't know for sure. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is we're having fun hobbying. And so we do this and Jared's here. It, it, Jared's behind the camera the whole time. And so he doesn't care if I mention him, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because without him, this whole video wouldn't be made. So thank you, Jared, Caffeinated Miniatures. That's right, you're getting a shout out and you're even editing this. And so if you don't keep it in, I'm not gonna post it on the channel. Back to the hobby. And it's awesome. We bring it outside, we spray paint it, we do a combination of just priming it black. Some of the kids do a little bit of Zenith highlighting stuff. We bring it back in, we start to slap some paint on it, different things that we're doing. We're doing some contrast paints, we're doing some dry brushing, doing all those things that you just simply do when you're hobbying in the Zen zone. And I gotta tell you, it's the best thing ever until it became the greatest thing ever. No! Which was when we went down on the floor, we got some books, other vehicles, and we created a game. We actually came up with the rules together Ryan came up with the name Armored Bash, very much inspired by Grinder from Adepticon, I gotta say. I gotta give him a shout out for that. That was an amazing game. This game that we made, Armored Bash, it's simple. You roll a d6 and you just consult what the results are, which we made on the spot. And it's either stalling, moving, or attacking. Pretty simple, right? So much fun. We actually, the game took about 20 minutes. We were just rolling one die, whatever happened, happened. Each die roll mattered. We were attacking each other, we were moving forward, we we're trying to win. Victory conditions were super simple. Get past the finish line, get a victory point, or destroy another vehicle, also get a victory point. Whoever finishes past the finish line first, though, the game ends and we count up victory points. Such a good time. What's the takeaway from this? Well, first off, using the damned models are awesome because that's, that's Ryan's preference. He wanted to use them. To be fair, I wanted to as well. There's a lot of different weapon option bits, multi-part kits that we could just bash on. We can put dudes on the vehicles, in the vehicles, parts of their war gear strapped on for equipment purposes. It was fun. The takeaway that I have from this experience is, first off, it doesn't cost a whole lot to hobby. You can just hobby however you want. You can put scraps of paper and put start and finish on them and it counts as game mechanics. It counts, you can grab a stack of books and you can make it count. You can buy two to three dollar toys from a second hand place and add bits to it from your bits box, which might have been lying around for years and years and years, you just never know. Or you can cut out cardboard bits and add them to these vehicles. The point is, just have fun, just hobby. This video wasn't originally sponsored by The Damned, and it still isn't technically, but since it is a project that is happening right now and is pretty cool from War Games Atlantic, I'm gonna mention them. I'm gonna, it, there's a relevant campaign that's still in progress. So if you wanted to get these models, the option is there for you. I'll make a clickable link on the video itself and in the description if you're interested. And that's really it. So if you found any value in this experience and you feel what I feel with your personal audio experience, let me know about it. I wanna know what you guys do. What are some cool ways that you choose to hobby? And I'm excited to hear what you guys do. I'm Mini Wargamer Dave, and this is Armored Bash and the Dan.